Our final guest is Greer Reed Jones, Artistic Director of Dance Alloy Theater. As a dancer, Greer performed with Pittsburgh Black Theater Dance Ensemble, Dance Theater of Harlem, Alley 2, and Dayton Contemporary Dance Company. She is choreographed for Kuntu Repertory Theater and City Theater, and she is the founding artistic director of the August Wilson Center Dance Ensemble. To celebrate Dance Alloy's 35th anniversary, Greer started the season with From Where We Come, which City Paper called a smart, lively show and a solid mix of new and old. This spring, Dance Alloy Theater will close the season with Where We're Going. Thanks so much for joining us, Greer. Thank you for having me. This is your second season with the company, and it's yes. the company's 35th anniversary yes. season. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the unique way you set up the season. Um, this being our 35th anniversary season, like you mentioned, our fall program was from where we've come. Um, I think it's very important to understand where the company has come from, its roots, mm -hmm. in order to go clearly into the future. And that's why in the spring, our concert is where we're going. Mm -hmm. So what's really important to me is that um, the Alloy started as a community dance center. Hmm. And in doing so, they opened up their doors to the community. It's a community center. It's for the community with classes, with our education outreach, as well as providing opportunity for dancers um, in the Pittsburgh area. Mm -hmm. That is very strongly my platform as well. So it just makes sense to connect the future with, um, I'm sorry, connect the past to where we're going. What is it like stepping into an established company, mm -hmm. and how do you thrive as an artist while keeping mm -hmm. the company's history in mind? Right. Um, it's, it's a little different than being a founding artistic director, so mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're kind of put into a position where something was already established. The, the great thing um, for me was a lot of the things that the Alloy stood for, a lot of their um, their vision and their aesthetic, I was already uh, familiar with, and um, it, it was kind of a it was it was an easy shift for me. Um, I had already been at the Alloy um, as education director prior mm -hmm. to being appointed artistic director, so I was used to you know uh, what the company was doing, their aesthetic, um, the ideas of the past artistic director and artistic directors of the past. Um, and I think because of all my experiences um, with the companies that you mentioned, mm -hmm. I got a real mix of um, dance and dance styles and dance. Um, uh, different voices. So um, being put in that position, it was kind of an easy, it was an easy um, place for me to be at that particular time. Can you tell us a little bit about where we're going mm -hmm. and how it might represent the future of Dance Alloy? Mm -hmm. Well, um, like I mentioned, my platform is very similar to the past. It's about opening the doors and providing a space for uh, young artists, young emerging artists to showcase their works, for young choreographers mm -hmm. to mentor young dancers to where they're going. So um, the show that you're gonna see in the spring um, deals with that a lot. We have a guest choreographer, Ursula Payne, from Slippery Rock. Um, her piece right now is entitled Home. So it's about coming mm. back home, coming to the Alloy. Um, she's, a, she's from Pittsburgh, she's local, so it is in alignment with um, supporting local choreographers, local mm -hmm. artists. Some other pieces on the show we'll do, um, a lot of people, um, they'll get a chance to know the dancers a little bit more. So they're not just dancing, but they're also choreographers. Um, so I think the show just deals a lot with um, my vision, my platform of opening the doors. It, could, it just continues, continues that and continues to allow people to come into our facility and experience all that the Alloy has to offer. The Peace Home is a world mm -hmm. premiere. It is a world premiere. Can you tell us a little bit about creating a world premiere in mm -hmm. that process? Yes. Um, sometimes when choreographers come into the Alloy, they have absolutely no idea what they're going to produce. Mm. Uh, or they may have already in their head, I'm going to do this particular piece. This is, um, I've been working on this for a little bit, and so I get a chance to um, experience, uh, experiment with the dancers. Um, so it, it's different. I think a lot of times choreographers come in and maybe the dancers that they get to work with, they're inspired by those dancers and they say, you know what, the idea that I had was not quite the idea that I think would fit this particular, these particular dancers. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of choreographers have different processes. Um, they may start with a movement phrase see how it looks on the dancers, mm -hmm. and they continue to build on that. And then at the end, um, they may have a full 15-minute piece and then go back and say, 
uh, let me cut, let me cut and paste. Let me put this here, let me put that there. And I think a, a big part of it is uh, they're inspired by the dancers and what, what mm. the dancers can bring to the table. So they may start out with one, one idea, which mm -hmm. may totally change by the end of, of, of the process. Um, and some choreographers can do that in a week. Some take two weeks, some take a month. So it just depends mm. on you know, that particular choreographer style. Do you, how do you initially choose your choreographers? Do you mm. look for people who you think will fit the dancers well? Mm -hmm. Or is there some other idea that you're going for? Yeah, I do. I choose them according to what will look good on the dancers. Mm. But I also like to um, challenge the dancers a little bit mm. and make them step outside their comfort zone, step mm -hmm. outside the box a little bit. So I try to bring in both choreographers who are already um, in the dancer's aesthetic already, mm -hmm. um, but also, you know, maybe a different style of modern, maybe um, a little bit more abstract, maybe dance theater. So it just depends. And the, the great thing about the Alloy is that we are a premier repertory modern company, meaning that these amazing dancers are up for anything and are, are, are can step into whatever style that I, I happen to bring in for them. And I think that's what makes our company exciting. So. That's how I, I, I choose. I choose both ways, what fits, what I think will fit good with the company, but also what's going to challenge them as well. Great. Well, best of luck on yeah. this uh, world premiere and the yeah. rest of your uh, season. Yes. Dance Alloy Theater presents Where We're Going at the August Wilson Center. For tickets, call 412-363-4321 or visit them online at dancealloy.org. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of my guests. If you have a theater production that you would like Theater Talk to cover, email me at pittsburghtheatertalk at gmail.com. For more Theater Talk information, visit my Facebook page, Pittsburgh Theater Talk. Thanks for watching.